guys, it's me, Blue. Welcome to day six of our booktube a -thon. Um, I am nearly done half my books, I think, which is not as good as I thought I would do, but I think I over, I think I underestimated this whole challenge. Like, when I did, okay, when I did my last 24 and 48, I read five books in a weekend which is crazy because that's like five books in two days so I thought seven books in seven days is going to be cake it's going to be easy I don't even have to worry about it and I, it's insane <laughs> I have not been able to read the books I want to read I haven't been able to just sit down and read or I've been distracted um today it was bees today I had bees bees in my basement and that took a lot of my time today so oh my goodness <laughs> like that's just how my life has been this week it's just been like oh I have to go and drop something off and then four hours later I'm like I should have been reading a book I don't know what happened to those four hours <laughs> or today it's like I'm going to just put in a load of laundry and then I'll sit and read and no I now have to capture bees and contact people about finding out how to get rid of carpenter bees and how to and get rid of carpenter bees like what what <laughs> like oh my goodness like it's just been insane something doesn't want me to read this week I don't know what it is but now that I have kind of a better idea of of, uh, of what the book to thon is about. I totally respect a lot of the other readers who are doing this because when I first started watching all the TBR videos, um, a couple of people are like, well, I started this book already, or this is a manga, sorry, manga, or this is a, a, a short read, or, you know, this one has a lot of pictures, or this is a comic book, that kind of thing. And I was like, that's totally cheating. Like, it's totally not fair because all of my books are between like 400 and 500 pages. They're not, they're like 350 I think is my lowest one. And I was, and I waited, I waited to start my books until d day one, until the 30th. And that was really stupid. <laughs> like I totally, I totally respect them now because they're right, like this is hard to read seven books in seven days. Like, now I understand why you picked the books you did. You were smart. I was stupid. <laughs> so I totally understand why you did that. And I, I have mad respect for you guys for doing what you do. So that's awesome. Um, I, today's challenge was to do book poetry or spine poetry. And I've done spine poetry before and I've had a lot of fun with it. This one was hard. Mostly because um, of the restraints, the time restraints, the color restraints. Um, I thought I was going to do black. Like, I have a lot of black spines. And that changed when I looked at the shelf because I realized I have a lot more red spines that I wanted to include. So I grabbed my red spine books. So it was a lot of fun. It was interesting. Um, I just want to apologize for getting this up so late. We literally just finished Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy while I was trying to read Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. <laughs> it was it was a weird it was it was an in-depth movie that I think I understood a little bit better because I read the book. Like it almost they didn't seem like the same movie. They seemed kind of like one was a guide for the other. So having read the book and watched the movie, I can kind of go, oh, that makes sense now to either the movie or the book. So if so, I would totally recommend you read both. I think that's really cool. Anyway, so on to the spine poetry. I'm going to scan over to you, to me, first picking the books. Um, I apologize if the camera works bad. My husband picked. My husband did the filming. And then from there, I'm going to scan over to me making the poetry, and then you can come back here to me, talking to you. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit.
Hi, this is me recording for a minute. I'm doing my pick from my shelf. I have to use my husband's shelf because mine doesn't have as many books. Some of mine are in boxes. So there's my timer set for a minute. And here we go. <laughs> Nothing over there. No. <laughs> and that's my time. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my stack of books downstairs and uh, and we'll finish the video. Fun. So, there's my timer, my three minutes. Um, I'm either going to take the whole three minutes and it's not gonna make any sense, or I'm gonna <laughs> take no time at all and uh, it's still not gonna make any sense. So we will have to see how this works out. So I'm gonna start my timer. So here we go. And. This is as close as I'm going to get to actual poetry. So it says, reveal the four elements of success. Furiously happy dreams come true. That's all I got. <laughs> it's not good, but with the constraints I had, that was what I got. So I'm, I'm happy with it. A lot of my books have really weird long titles, like you majored in what? And uh, the book for little girls, little book for girls, and uh, the cat who robbed a bank. So none of those are really going to work for poetry. So this is my my poem, for lack of a better way of putting it. But uh, and that's my challenge for day six. Bye. So yeah. So that was my poem, my <laughs> fine poetry. Um, one thing I did forget to say. Today, the fourth is my little sister's birthday. So I want to embarrass her and wish her an incredibly happy birthday. And I'm not gonna say how old she is because then I'd have to say how old I am and I'm not gonna do that. You're on your own. So happy birthday to you, little sister, and I love you. Mwah. I hope you had a fantastic day with your little family. I think you're amazing. Keep doing what you're doing, you're amazing. That being said, I am going to stop recording and go to bed because it's already the 5th of August, uh, yeah, August, and I am incredibly tired. <laughs> and I have so much to do tomorrow because I've got like half my list to read. So if you like this video or if you want to wish my little sister a happy birthday, leave a comment below. I think she'd really get a kick out of it. That would be really funny. And. Uh, for 
those of you who haven't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video, and uh, we'll see you next time. Support your local library. Knowledge is power. See you next time.